What's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. We still trucking in Jays. I'm Devin. I um, just want to go over a, a few things, man. Big Bertha's been, she been costing us some more money, man. The OG Big Bertha. I'm having some more issues with the air brakes. So I want to go down and show you what we've replaced so far and the issue is having and, and we'll go over how much it costs to get that fixed. Um, I'm currently in Yorktown, Virginia. Had a load coming up here, um, of course, with Landstar Broker. It was um, $1,200, 420 miles, so that's um, 285 a mile, not bad, you know, uh, for 400 and something miles, so that was good, but I am just want to intro the video right here. I'm going to go down to the truck, crawl up under it for y'all to show y'all what we replaced and what the overall issue was. It's fixed now, but I'll tell you what it was, the symptoms, and how much it cost us to get it fixed. All right, y'all. I can't lie. I'm at a uh, Candlewood Suites. I'm starting to like these more and more. It seemed like... Everyone I get to, it's always you know nice and clean and and got space or whatever. So always space to park. Got this little hiding over here in the cut. Yep. So the issue I was having was let me turn this way. Yeah, the issue I was having it was a couple different issues. With it, when I would uh, at first when I would press on the brakes. Like you can hear like the air constantly leaking out. So it was like constantly leaking air and getting low or the, causing the compressor to run the whole time while I was pressing the brakes. So I knew, you know, something wasn't right with that. So, um, cause you know, of course it didn't always do that. So me and Nick, you know, kind of looked up what it was and, and you know, you know how Nick do. He gonna, he gonna fix it now. Uh, he gonna replace the part. If that's the problem, it's gonna work. He worth his weight in gold. You know how much gold that is? Anyway. Let me crawl up under him, turn some light on for y'all just in case. That might help some. All right, so, look, man, even, even the parking lot thing, look, I'm down here. All right, so the first issue, this ABS, ABS modulator valve, that's what was leaking when I would be pressing the gas, and that's, that's not supposed to leak. So we replaced that. And then after we did that, it was no longer leaking when I was pressing, it was no longer leaking when I was pressing the gas. But then when I would go to let out the, uh, the release the parking brake, then it just kept leaking from there. So then it went from, went from the ABS modulator valve to this relay valve right here. So this piece right here, well this, this whole piece right here, this whole piece, is the ABS modulator valve. Excuse me, I'm sorry, this is the relay valve. So we replaced that. And then it started leaking back over at the ABS module again. So what we ended up having to do after we, you know, replaced that, we were still having issues. You know, we did the ABS modulator one day and it was better, but it, we could tell it still wasn't fixed. But then it started leaking completely again and with the relay valve and then from there it wouldn't even like let the emergency brakes all the way out so you know it couldn't really even go nowhere sometimes like if you drive if you creep forward a little bit then it would let them all the way out but you know you can't you can't drive like that so we just decided to break down and call um it, we, it was at my house we decided to go ahead and just call um a repair the mobile repair guy we knew it was gonna cost us some money, but it was time to go ahead and get it fixed. We was tired of dealing with it. So we called um, Pro Mobile. I have the uh, information down low if you're in our area in Columbia, South Carolina. Man, they called, I called them. They said it was gonna be 475 just for them to come out. So I was like, dog, we about to have to spend money. I said, man, let me call you back because I want to think about it. So I was like, man, let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and get it done. So we ain't got to worry about it no more. So we paid, we knew we was gonna pay at least 475 that don't include any parts or anything um, other than two hours of labor. So I was like, okay, he might be able to fix it within the two hours. So we did go ahead and get that, get him to come out. They said 60 to 90 minutes. The dude was there probably in about 45 minutes. So he got to the house about 7.45 at night. And once he, he knew exactly where the issue was and it was the, the brake, the brake chamber. This right here was actually seized up. So it was, that's why the parking brake wouldn't release because it was seized up and that's why it was causing it to backflow, the air to backflow through the ABS modulator. So he he went, 
See, so this is the old one. This is the new one right here. Let me close that up. Yeah, so he he replaced that for us. And then after that, it still was leaking from here. So this new part that we had bought, the ABS modulator valve, then it was still leaking from there. So he thought about it for a second. And, you know, he and one of our subscribers one time told us about the um, air dryer cartridge may need to be changed. You know, check that to make sure it was working and that it may need to be changed. So we looked for that, but my truck doesn't even have one. So with that being done, you know, not having one, the compressor tanks are actually getting that moisture in this. And we was, I did let it, you know, I would release it every now and again, and then release, release the, uh, the air from it. But I didn't realize it was actually another port on the back of one of the tanks. And that one was full of water. So what that caused was the trash and debris or whatever was in the tank could be rust from it being, you know, the water being in there and it being so much water. And I don't know, you know, we had it for over a year and I've never drained that part of it. So I know now, but he said that was causing the uh, ABS modulator to, to uh, malfunction. So we thought we was gonna have to buy another one of those, but the guy actually, he said he put some transmission fluid in it and told me to you know, press on the brakes a few times and that cleared whatever was in there so it could, um, so we didn't have to buy another one of those and use that same one. So that's what was causing the issue was that uh, the brake chamber was seized up and not working. And from that water being in the in the um, in the line, causing any type of rust or whatever to kind of mess up these other valves. So we still would have had to replace those from what the guy told us. So we did good on that part, but there's no way we would have uh, fixed this brake this brake chamber. We wasn't gonna mess with that at all. I hear that you can get killed because of the spring in here if you don't if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't, um, he said you put something in there and tighten it down before you open it up. But we we wasn't gonna mess with none of that. But he said it's like 1500 pounds you know pressure with that spring and that can of course go through you and kill you so um anyway all right so that's that's what the issue was man and me and nick was thinking to ourselves like i said it would be gonna be at least 1250 because the guy was there from 7:45 to 11:45 um, at night so I'm thinking it was gonna be 1250. Nick said 1500. After all that time, with the with the $200 part, the brake chamber itself was $200. So um, with that the labor, it was only $898. Man, we are so happy to pay that money. We gave him the car so quick. So that that uh, wasn't as bad as we thought it was gonna be, um, especially for them to come to the house and fix it and get everything taken care of. So. I'm glad that uh, didn't cost us that much and haven't had any more problems with it. So she, she good now. So we don't have any more issues with the, with the air brake so far. So hopefully that's done. But I want to show you where on our tank, on one of them it has a, a release valve on each side. So I'm gonna show you that. That's fine. All right. Yeah, so got the two tanks and I would drain this one on this side and on this one there's a hose on the front so i didn't think i needed to drain it on both ends but apparently you do and this way it was like man it had to be at least three four gallons of water you know in there before so that's so it wasn't even really getting them a lot of air in it because you know it was water in the tank so that's that was causing the issue and that probably caused the issue issue with the other um when we had the issue before with it pressurizing, over pressurizing, but, but now I know, so I'll drain that once a week. And I'm gonna go on the other side real quick. Yeah, so this tank right here, this is the one that has a release valve on, on both sides. And this one doesn't, so I thought, this one was right here and I thought the other one was on the back of this one. I didn't even think to look because of course you see I had to get up under. So I had to get up under it to see that. But, but yeah, man, now we know got a new brake chamber. So that need to be fixed. New relay valve. 
and a new ABS modulator valve. So air brakes, it's all set for right now. So just want to check in with y'all real quick, let y'all know we still out here working. And that's kind of some issues. Still spending more money, but you got to spend money to make money. So yeah, we're gonna try to be more consistent, man, with the videos. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. We're trying to reach 4,000 subscribers. Help us out. And also, real quick, the Capital on Tap. Shout out to the people that's been using our link to sign up for the Capital on Tap to get that $100 credit. Um, once you actually get the card and use it, we can't see who you are or anything like that, but we do get a credit of $100 for y'all doing that. So we appreciate you for doing that. And once again, that Capital on Tap card can help you save some money. Well, won't help you save no money, but you can have that for your backup for your repairs for things like this. Until next time, man, I'm Devin. We're trucking in J's. Peace.